Watch. Britney Spears slams Jamie Lynn Spears after GMA Tell All. Ah. Where do we even begin? From cannibalism to sacrifices, seances to Senate races, oh, and that jaw-dropping murder last week. Yellowjackets has kept us all on our toes. Dot and made our stomachs churn. Now as the finale for the star-studded Showtime series approaches on Sunday January 16th, we're racing to Reddit to discuss fan theories for what answers, if any, well get ahead of season 2. There's like a million theories right now and it's so fun to read everyone's ideas, Samantha Hannity, who plays Misty, the eerie doctor of the group, exclusively told E! News. I don't even have all the answers I am like, oh shoot, that makes sense. Like, there are things that people are saying that I am. Like, that could be. And Hanrati ISNT the only star who has been entertained by the rumors swirling of what exactly the Yellowjackets team has to hide. I know actors shouldn't do this but I've been going all over Reddit and I've read everything, Sophie Thatcher, who portrays teen Natalie, the huntress of the survivors, said, it's so hard not to with this show, there are so many interesting theories. Some of those theories include who, exactly, is being hunted in that creepy flash forward in the premiere? And do these young girls endure the winter of 1996 by eating each other? While we already know both Hanrati and Thatcher's characters survive, the adult versions of their characters are played by Christina Ritchie and Juliet Lewis, respectively, the same can't be said for all of their teammates. Melanie Linsky, who plays adult Shauna, teased that the finale will lean into the trauma the four leads still suffer from 25 years later. I think Shauna is a person who, in moments of stress, gets quite subdued, Linsky explained. She's gone through so much and she's learned to listen. Thothaving a lot of emotion when things aren't going well doesn't serve you. So she kind of shuts down in those moments. So will we see Shauna finally break down after she murdered her lover, Adam, Peter Gaudio? Finding out that Jeff was the blackmailer and that she had killed somebody for no reason, it's just too much to process in the moment, Linsky continued. And also the fact that Jeff knows her story and loves her anyway is also a bit too much to process. She's been underestimating Jeff for years and I just think too much information is coming at her at once. She added, there is a moment in the finale where she's alone in the shower and she lets herself feel everything for the first time, and I really wanted to be careful that I keep getting emotional in all those scenes and I am like, no, hold it in, hold it in. She's a person who would try to just get through all the business. How am I going to do this? Who's going to help me? But Linsky can confirm that the finale will leave audiences with one heck of a cliffhanger. I think that there is one huge surprise. I think there's one huge cliffhanger, which is very exciting, something that is teased for the modern day storyline. Linsky hinted, and I think a lot of things are tied up. There is one thing in it that makes me so sad. But I think it's going to be satisfying. Hannity agreed, saying, we get some answers and then there's these other parts of the show where it opens up this whole other mess, so when one story closes, we get stumped with something totally different. It opens up a whole other can of worms. She warned. I will say bring a box of tissues for the finale and get ready to gasp quite a few times. I know I did when I read the script. It's going to get. Yellow Jacket season finale airs Sunday, January 16th at 10pm on Showtime.